People ask me about Travis Glover. And so I just watched some quip tape on him. And honestly, look, he's 6'6", 317. He comes out of Georgia State. There's a couple of things that are super interesting about him. He's not a traditional Packer. He did drop 15 pounds for his pro day. That always bothers me because I'm like, in, in my mind, why were you 15 pounds overweight? Are you? Is that weight going to come back? How serious are you about this? Did an agent or um, a combine prep guy get you and say, dude, you got to look better for the combine. We got to get you. We got to get you where you need to be. He's a five-year starter. Georgia State played a couple different positions. 23 reps on the bench. For 6'6", 317, long-arm guy, not a great number, quite frankly. So he's losing weight. He's not incredibly strong. He ran a 5.2740. Now, you guys know about my RIS stuff. It's fun to talk about. His number is quite low. It's like sub five. I think it's like 472 or something like that. And I think I actually I have it right here. So when you look at shuttle, three cone, 20 yard split, 10 yard split, broad jump, there's some, there's some, limited tangible athletic movements that you do see transfer onto the tape. He is six, six. He does have long arms. He looks a lot bigger than that. When you're watching this film, there's some things you can pull away from here and I'll just put it up now. He's six, six, three, 17. He looks bigger. This is against LSU. I just showed the first drive. Now he holds his hands low. Now some guys are teaching this. You just look at that body position. I, you know, I personally, it's okay. You want to see some changes, right? Carries him low. He does shoot them straight out, but it promotes kind of this high chested target. So he actually gets kind of pushed around a little bit sometimes for being such a big guy. You see here, here again with the redirect. Doesn't get a lot out of his first kick. I think some of that's his stance. It can be fixed. Lateral movement's okay. Ends up on the ground here. Um, again, he you know, it's one of those guys where he's a huge dude. And he's just going to have to, like, you know, if it's me, if, if, if I'm communicating with him, I'm like, hey, man, we're going to jump rope every day. Right? Just to, just to get that rhythm, just to get that, you know, light feet over and over and over. Free play here, no big deal. Look at the discipline. What a unit. Go to the next one here. So we got a double look, hipped off, coming across. So kind of takes some weird footwork. He's on the backside here. Takes some weird footwork, steps behind him. But what we're really looking at here is your fo initial footwork's not great. Your hands, he does everything with this shovel motion, okay? And guys with, look, a lot of people are teaching this technique now. And I have to tell you, it doesn't work for a lot of guys. And the reason is they don't have the body type. It puts them up so the defensive end gets in their chest too much. Um, the idea being that you're bringing your hands and your hips together, but you're kind of scooping from low to high, so everything's in in you. You're coming up like this. In pass pro, it's difficult because you can chop your hands down. In the run game, it's difficult because you're literally giving them your chest to, to press back, and you're turning it into – you're thrusting your hips forward, but you have nowhere to go. In other words, you've kind of – maximize your hip thrust on contact and now you're just trying to waddle out of position instead of trying to drive somebody like you were pushing a car okay so your power angles aren't really ideal they're ideal for the split second on contact but now your footwork and everything else isn't where you want it to be and you, you see like in this position you've got two hands pushing at your chest you're raising up your hips are engaged but you can't go anywhere so this is a coaching thing he might get coached this way by the packers this is something that's happening a lot in the National Football League, again, because you have a limited understanding of biomechanics and how the body moves. So they it's like they took it's like they read the first chapter and said they put the book down and said, OK, we know what we need to do now. You'd like to see 
you know, a, a straight back here a little bit more. I think this is going to be a low hand. Yep. Okay. So I love the dip here. This is what really I, this is the first rep where I was like, oh, we've got something. He takes some footwork, but he actually sinks down. And not a lot of guys do this, especially at his size. He does a really good job of sinking down and creating contact low to, low to high here. This is fantastic. Now, the hands aren't great. Again, he's not – I. this is a guy that said in an interview his hands were his strength. He was really violent. I, per, my, me personally, I don't see that at all. Right? I think they're, they're actually something he really can improve on from a strike standpoint. However, I really like the way that he sunk down here. You see his hands right here You know, on the back of the guy's pads. It's because of it's because of his technique. So this can be improved. But that little bend, it's like you got to find the nuggets. Like, what are you looking for? Are you looking for all the stuff he does wrong? Or are you looking for those one or two things that if he can do that, you feel like you got a chance, right? So as we can sit here and critique all the stuff he's doing wrong, or we can sit here and go, I can work with that. And I think you can work with that. Same idea. Good bend. Look at the dip. I love it. But you see your outside hands. Just got to improve the strike. And there's a lot of little drills you can do on your own, pre-practice, post-practice, little routines you can get where you can be automatic with these hands. Fundamentally, this, the shovel effect that he's trying to, to do is just, I think, for, for most players, it's very tough. Steve Hutchinson came into the league, and he was able to do this at a really, really high level. And it kind of, because of... Maybe it's not because of him, but like at least as a guard in my mind, when when I started watching Steve doing this and how easy it was for him because of his very, very unique athleticism, high school All-American, college All-American, you know, NFL Hall of Fame player. Not a lot of those dudes walking around, okay? Because of his uniqueness, I think a lot of people looked at it and said, oh, we're going to that's going to be our standard. It makes sense. It makes sense for him. It's like, it's like when I told you guys how my agent said, Oh, you want to learn how to block Dana Stubblefield, watch Larry Allen. And I said, don't ever tell me to watch film again. Cause I can't bench 700 pounds. Larry Allen's a different, he's a one of one player. I'm not at that level physically. Therefore I can't mimic what he's trying to do. Get down here to the 20. Again, you just see the size of the of the guy. This is LSU, man. This is the you know, SEC talent here we're talking about. And he moves this guy right off the ball. Moving SEC talent right off the ball on a drive block. Hand, and still, hands aren't great, right? But you see the dip. That gut drop, man, I can't tell you. Uh, if I'm a personnel guy and I'm watching tape, like that is – I mean, I have some very specific things that I'm looking for, and that is right up at the top of the list. Can this person do that? Can he? Because now you can engage your hips. So this is the first true pass pro. I think this is a touchdown. Not a lot of not a lot with his first step, but he's under control. Shoots his hands straight, which is a big deal when you when you play your hands low. If you can bring them up here. It's not the ideal thing to do, but it's certainly a lot better than bringing them up like this. So I like this. I like this rep. I like the balance. I like the touchdown. I'm not going to show a lot. You can gain a lot of information from very few if you know what to look for, very few clips. So not, a, not the prototypical Green Bay Packer. Um, obviously, there's some body composition development that's going to be taking place uh by the kid at jump rope really really work on his technique we're talking about initial footwork especially in pass pro and then you're really talking about the hand initial hand placement off the snap is going to help you if you improve that you're going to help you on targeting but this is all stuff quite frankly guys where you know i was talking to a guy i was talking to a pro guy yesterday and i go if you want you can sit there and do it with a, with a guy over and over and over and over and over again. And if you want to get good at this stuff, the pro goes off by himself 
and does it over and over and over again. Goes before and after practice and does it over and over and over again. And those guys are the guys that find success.